Ball on the button. What's up, y'all? This OG Weasel Urban Conversion. I'm back again. Y'all just now tuning in to my channel. I did 20 years on a 30-year federal prison sentence. I'm here today to tell y'all about my journey. I got clemency from President Obama before he left office. And uh, truly grateful. I did 20 years on a 30-year federal prison sentence. And I'm here today to tell y'all my journey. <laughs> I've been scrolling through the, uh, as y'all would know, as y'all hit that like and subscribe button for me. Um, I've been scrolling just, just like probably a lot of y'all have um, on what's going on on social media and all of that. And the things that surrounding that, that issue, I won't speak on it, but y'all understand. And I was talking to a couple co-workers, girls at, at that, right? And they was in conversation of a, uh, a situation that was going around on social media. And the, the circumstances around that situation was like, it's like, okay, when in my view is this, these motherfuckers get so much money and they fetishes get more entangled and they get lost in their fetishes and it get more entangled i guess whatever you know but i said that to say this and i i um equated that situation to situation i have been in in federal prison and this this was going on before i got there and well after i left and it's going on right now as i speak um and this is a known fact. Guys that's coming in, that's bravado, the strong guys, the heavy, the, the dudes with the character, uh, with no character flaws, to your families, to y'all own families, um, to y'all family members that went to prison and stuff like that. And I'm not saying this for everybody because this is not for everybody. But I will say this, the heightened sense of, uh, of lust gets so overwhelming in federal prison for weak-minded guys. And I will emphasize weak-minded. Guys that never indulge in um, the rainbow activity, they get enticed, they get tricked, they let, um, they let um, real predators buy them stuff from the store. They let real predators um, send their laundry to the laundry when they send theirs. They setting you up, they set you up with the things that you start looking to be attached to. And it, it seemed and it start off seemingly like it's honest, um, mutual, but everybody in federal prison, predators, the predators, they have an agenda. And it might not look like it. And and not being a predator, not being a predator, I don't know what to look for to say a guy vulnerable on this level, this, that, and that level. And cause my mannerism and my, my makeup don't think like that. But the predators that's into that type of activity, coerce them, um, trick them, trick them out of the goodie bag um, by buying them things and stuff like that. And some people are just mutually intrigued with it and it don't even have to do with amount of time that you're doing in federal prison because that's an excuse that's an excuse and i'm just saying if that's what you into that's what you into i'm not i just watch throughout my journey of doing 20 years in federal prison watch guys young men come in and get manipulated 
to the point that they doing the immoral things that they are ashamed of. But being that they be in this situation and it's not shunned upon because you in closed confinements of being in prison. You know what I'm saying? And if you fall away, that make it even more because they don't think it'll get back out. Especially if it's a guy from just being, he probably only guy from a certain city there, for real. One or two of them or something like that. But one of them had been there a while, so long that he accustomed to it and he been doing this. And then another guy from his city come there. So now he a little bit up closer up on him and he might peep it because he been doing it so long. But he ain't even gonna say nothing to him because like I said, the guy probably been there before a while and uh, accustomed and probably walked him around and showed him a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? So I just said that to say this, man, because it was on my mind. Um, the guys that get tricked, man, not even just getting tricked, man, the guys that's, that's fascinated with that, and then they play into that, and then they try to keep it a secret when they get home. This OG Weasel Urban Conversion, I'm telling y'all real facts. And just, it, it don't matter if you've done a lot of time, whether state or federal prison time, it don't matter. If that's in you, that was in you, you know, so. And it's just the problem that I have with the guys that think it's a, <clears throat> it's all right while you in prison and then you come home and then you um, correlate with the other um, uh, species, the female species, you know. So this OG Weasel Urban Conversion, man, and it's a lot of ways to get tricked. They come with the commissary. They come with um, uh, making your bed up for you. They come with... They come with doing all type of little things that you, uh, an unaware person, will be oblivious to, not knowing what to look for. So uh, they entice you with all type of things. They 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 even stage a plot to uh, protect you or play like they saved your life. Amongst a few other guys, they'll play. A, they'll set a stage play. And knowing you're a rookie and just came in, they pl they play on you, and your 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 a guy might play like he saved you, and by him playing like he saved you, you know what I'm saying? He want to be compensated. So it be all type of ploys that federal prison uh, convicts, the predators, uh, play to get what they want, man. And I'm giving y'all this raw and uncut, man. This my truth. This OG Weasel Urban Conversion. And uh, y'all hit them comments for me, man. I'm going to keep dropping. I love y'all. Thank y'all.